Hi, I want you to picture this. You wake up one morning and the coffee you buy at one euro now sells at three euros. And if you decide to pay with your card or app, you incur an additional 1.5% tax. Sick, right? Unfortunately, this is the sad reality in Ghana, a country with a population of over 30 million people, most of whom are between the ages of 22 and 40 years, either at the beginning or active stages of their careers. Also with a lot of people living abroad too. In the first four months of this year, the Ghana national currency, the CD, has seen drastic depreciation against the US dollar by almost 20%, making the financial sector unattractive, expensive, and yields little or no return on investment. This, together with inflation and the newly introduced electronic levy, popularly called e-levy in Ghana, has led many Ghanaians, home and abroad, to look for ways to hedge their monies against depreciation and inflation, grow their money, and pay less when they transact online. My name is Mo Mbalam. I am the CEO and co-founder of Yola. Through our multi-currency accounts, users are able to hedge their money against depreciation and inflation, send and receive money in real time without incurring the e-levy tax, and gain insights on their spending through account aggregation. We launched our MVP in Ghana in the last quarter of 2021 with 400 testers. We have also added over 500 people on our waiting list in less than a month during the SBC program. We've also signed LOIs with some of these companies and are also in advanced talks with others. We charge a transaction fee on FX, payments and transfers, and are currently exploring a subscription model for account aggregation and wealth management for 2023. We are launching our beta in Ghana in Q4 2022, and will eventually roll out crypto accounts, financial services marketplace, and personal finance management tools within the next two years. To help achieve this goal, we're raising 550,000 euros to build our team, partnerships and tech, as well as compliance. Our plans are backed by a strong team with a drive and years of experience working together. This is my fourth company. My first startup, the first P2P lending platform in Ghana, was acquired by Microfinance in 2018. And this is my third startup together with Suleiman, our CTO. We believe that Yola solves a more fundamental problem and we're excited to achieve our mission, which is to provide tools that empower people to improve their financial health and have more control over their money. If the mission speaks to you, join us in our breakout room. Thank you very much.